A young cancer survivor paid a special visit to the hospital that he's been very familiar with during his life. He was there not to be treated, though, but instead to share a message of hope with young patients. KCRA 3's Rob Malcolm is here with more. Well, Gus, and this young cancer patient gives new meaning to the term a Cape Crusader. He's, of course, survived his own battles, and the patients and families were pretty surprised, and they enjoyed his visit. <laughs> Although he struggled with a very large door, as superheroes go, Cooper Cochran is as strong as they come. You're welcome. Thank you. Breathe, so brave. He went door to door carrying this small box on his tiny legs, sharing his message for all ages. Hi, Christine. Hello. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Cooper. Cooper. And be brave. What was that? Be brave. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. He's no stranger to the UC Davis Comprehensive Cancer Center. It's here in 2010 he was diagnosed and treated for high-risk acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He had the worst of um, the two types of leukemia that you can have. It's either high risk or low risk, and he had high risk. And he went through three and a half years of straight chemo, and he did radiation on his brain, and um, he beat his cancer. Now in remission, the superhero story took flight. For his last day of chemo, Connor wanted to wear a superhero cape, but then decided to donate that cape to another child with cancer. That baby from his hometown of Woodland didn't make it. And when Cooper found out that walking didn't make it, he wanted to donate capes to other sick kids. And he had plenty to choose from. What what you he like? I'll give him a book. Oh, good boy. Are you like Superman? Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Be brave. He's made new friends along the way while giving hope to others. It's awesome. Um, we've watched, we've been doing this for four years, so the amount of children that we've watched come and go and go through treatment and everything, it's extremely positive when they come back. It's so inspiring. We were just diagnosed about a month and a half ago, and we have our super fritz right here. And the treatment, everything has been wonderful, but having little surprises like that really helps us get through it. A hero without limits and a heart as big as a smile. And on his seventh birthday today, he chose to give back to others. Great story, inspiring young man. This is the second year the family has been raising money for capes to be donated to the UC Davis uh, Medical Center and also to Sutter Health. His mother says this is all 100% driven by Connor. Edie?